Ooh-wee! I'm done. All right, guys, welcome. If you're new to the channel, my name is Julian, also is the Beer Thrift Machine here on YouTube, and I buy stuff and flip it online and make YouTube videos about it. If you've been following my channel, you did see that gigantic attic buy that I bought on highbid.com. Basically, I bought some other stuff for $270, then I bought an attic for $60, so I'm about $300 all in on that. And this video is going to be an entire breakdown over the one week or two weeks of how long it took me to actually get this stuff done and how much I'm going to list everything for. Now, I already know that a lot of this stuff will be redonated, thrown away, uh, or sold locally. But what we're going to do is, is that I have this board right here, and as you can see, there's nothing on it because I have not started to list anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to track everything that I list. So I want to show you guys how long it takes to actually do this. I'll go ahead and tell you exactly how long it took, like hour-wise, and then also how much I'm going to have in it. This might be a bust. It might not be worth anything. I don't know yet because this is video number one. So uh, I want to go ahead and start listing stuff. And y'all will see what happens all right so day one i have 415 dollars listed i'm saying this is the break even point just because uh you know with fees and all that stuff and this is the listed amount right there so i'm thinking you know if i send a 10 percent off sale or something like that and then plus ebay fees and i really haven't listed that much i've only really listed some mac tool stuff like right there and then some belt buckles some knives this little guy right here and uh, some of the other belt buckles back there. So right there, that's about it. And I think it's only about 13 items. All right, so day two here, my plan is today, I've actually already listed 13 items from this lot. And today what I want to do is go ahead and list a lot of this stuff, the top shelf, the side shelf. Now these dolls I'm not gonna list because I do have the original boxes in storage and I want to list them with the original boxes. But I want to go ahead and go through all of this stuff here and then everything on the top of this table I want to go through and find and list the good stuff. My plan is basically to list anything on eBay that I can make $10 plus shipping on and then everything else most likely I'll be selling at a yard sale or re-donating or if it is trash throwing it away. All right, let's talk about hat strategy and what I'm doing with these because there are a ton of hats that I got. Now, I only picked out like really the good ones to sell but as you can tell there's a whole bunch here and basically what I'm doing is I'm picking out ones that can sell for $10 plus shipping and then listing them separately like this one right here is actually kind of like brand new looking and I think this one goes for about $15 plus shipping I'll take 10 bucks on it so stuff like this gets listed separately but the ones that are going to be like not you know not so expensive i'm probably going to go ahead and list them in a huge lot because most of these are firefighter related or destination hats that have to do with firefighters or firefighting apparatuses so that's what I'm, my plan is with those here's the board right here i'm not done my day two yet so but we are doing pretty good as you can tell i have listed a ton of items today and yesterday so i'm going to go ahead and get to this at the end of the day so i want to keep working on these hats and this will be the last thing i list today all right end of day two listing let's check the board all right the board shows we did about 30 listings today all that stuff and that stuff right there i think it's actually 33 listings and so far our listed amount obviously this is without shipping because i do not do free shipping this is just listed stuff so if i say it's listed for 15 dollars, that would be 15 dollars plus shipping so it's 605 dollars. and at the very end i will break down the numbers exactly I, like how much i think i'm going to make so uh day two is complete so this is the storage unit this is all the stuff we got in here the other day i never really showed it but all of this stuff we kind of threw it in here most of that's christmas stuff uh so it's gonna be very interesting to see what's inside there we haven't actually looked in any of this stuff i just did a local deal for a saw for about 50 bucks so um it's gonna be interesting to see how much time i have into this and then how much money i actually make i'm going to not stay over here a lot right now because i have a lot back of the house to still list but i just wanted to show everybody this is what it looks like in the beginning tons of stuff just thrown in here i need to be a little bit more organized all right so a little update on the auction hall this is what i've been able to clear out as you remember that was all full and under there was all full but that entire thing right here is going to have to be donated or thrown away that's how much stuff is just not sellable on ebay it's not even really good yard sale stuff it's just old books that aren't worth anything and just 
plushes that are destroyed, electronics that don't work. So that's gonna be either thrown away today or donate it. And then I'm gonna go pick up another haul at the actual storage unit. Cause again, I had like four times the amount that I had on this table, but I will. All right, so this is like load three going to the dump, another truck bed full. So definitely a lot of trash in this. Uh, I'm, which I knew actually buying the attic, there would be a lot of trash, but we still have all this stuff to go through right here and down there and up there. So it's a lot of work, but hopefully the work will pay off if we find something good. All right, I want to go over the stuff that we're finding in the attic and it's a whole bunch of stuff that looks like this. So these are Mack truck pamphlets. And you wouldn't believe that one of these sold for $9.99 plus shipping. I think it was this exact one. And I have a whole bunch of them. So these will be listed actually individually. And then we had a whole bunch of another Mack truck pamphlets of like the factory and everything. And then we actually have blueprints to fire trucks, Mack truck fire trucks. And I mean, I just have stacks and stacks of this stuff. And I think this actually will sell pretty decent. All right, welcome back to another episode of this is taking longer than it should this is the attic lot i'm still finding a whole bunch of stuff to list so the other day i was going through a box in the storage unit i found a ton of these plasticville uh, uh little figurine things i have like a whole bunch of them here so i will be you have to like put them together because they're all in pieces and these have the original boxes but the original boxes are all messed up but i'll be going through a whole bunch of these and i found some more of these little cars and I'm kind of sad I found these because there's only like five of them there because up here I already had a whole bunch of them and these are all in lots This is some stuff that's already been listed from the attic and a lot of this stuff already has bids on it because I did uh, Auctions on these I get those back there will sell soon These up here will sell soon and these little guys I think right there are gonna sell so I'm definitely making my way through it I've already made a ton of money on this already my money back plus a whole bunch at the end of this video, I'll show some of the big sales that I had like right off the bat that put me into the profit. It was just stuff that I really didn't realize that was worth money that I wanna pass along. All right, so we're back at the storage unit and uh, this is probably the last time you actually see what's inside here because it's coming to an end. I will show you like all this stuff that we picked up. Remember all the Christmas stuff, this is all Christmas lights, like pretty, pretty good ones actually. So this will be held and sold for Christmas time. Then walking back here, really, Christmas right there Christmas got a blow mold right there still to list and then all this big Christmas stuff that I list during um, You know the holiday season and then a whole big thing of like I'm pretty sure these are gonna be vintage Ornaments that I'll go through but all this is glassware and none of it's really that good I thought this was gonna be better, but most of it's like um, It's not even name brand. This is actually a symbol to I think a fire truck apparatus company and i have a whole bunch of these so most likely i'm going to put all this up on local you know facebook marketplace for you know like a couple bucks literally just to get it out of here and make a couple dollars but not a whole bunch in here i will say that i probably have i don't know maybe 150 in christmas gear and i think that'll be on the low end but I'll do it on the low end so I can go ahead and put it on the board. I probably have one more load to take to landfill. This is another load right there that I'm taking. So it has been a lot of work. I think this is the fourth one I've taken over there. So definitely a lot of work, but it will be good. If you guys did see my wood sold and said that I found the box to the Cadillac, this is the box to the Cadillac that I'm actually gonna list to see if somebody wants this. Sad it didn't go with the original thing, but I just found it, but I'm definitely gonna go ahead and list that and see if it sells on eBay. All right, so this is the last of the stuff that I have to list today, and it's a whole bunch of just like vintage, I don't know, little collectibles and whatnot. And the stuff will definitely sell. Some of this is Mac truck stuff, and this Mac truck stuff sells like you would not believe. So all these little pamphlets and stuff are just, they're just good. I mean, they really do sell. You put them up for five to ten dollars, and they sell very quickly. Old playing cards, probably not a lot. Seagrave, uh, I've sold some Seagrave stuff already. That's that apparatus company and uh, they sell too. And I have a whole bunch of pens, so put those up. Got like an old camera there, some other old cameras. Got a little player right there, cassette player. Don't know if that worked. Got some cassettes back there, brand new. CD player, some other vintage stuff. This right here is pretty cool. Um, it's a little bit dirty, so I will clean it up and the foam is falling apart. But this is from a Mac seminar, Mac truck seminar. It's like a little ice picker, hammer, whatnot. Something like this, $20, $30 with this Mac truck stuff. I'm telling you, this stuff sells way better than I thought. All of it's from the 70s and 80s. Most of it's from the 70s though. And this one, I think, 
is from 77. Yep, right there. It's hard to see. But Seminar 1977. So all this stuff sells pretty good. But this is the rest of it. I did find a ring and it has some writing on it. And I'm not real good at finding like to see if it's gold or whatnot. Uh, but I will see if that thing's gold. I seriously doubt it, but you never know. So I'll definitely see if I can test it. And a little Taz thing. So just a whole bunch of just vintage stuff. And then when I do have a whole box of these train uh, things. These most of these are Lionel or Marks, I think is what it's called. And I have a whole box of them. So I'm not going to go through these and separate them. I'm going to sell them as a huge lot on eBay and get what I can get for them because I'm almost done this stuff. And just like I said, a whole bunch of just old stuff. Here's a little purse. So all this will be listed today and then we will show you the board. All right, guys, I am done with the auction and this is the big board. Basically, there's a few more things that I have to do. Just clean up wise, go maybe one time to the landfill one more time. But other than that, it's basically finished. So here is the gigantic board here. That was my break even point. And then I started over again. And then this is all the listings that I did. Now, I did not work on this continuously. I obviously had to, you know, go buy golf clubs and other things and go to yard sales. So, but I did mount exactly how many hours I worked. And it's just right here, it says, uh, that's the Christmas and the glass and stuff right there. But at the very end, this was 118 listable items on eBay. And that was a total of these two right here, which was $3,071 listed on eBay. Obviously that doesn't include shipping or anything like that. That's the actual money listed. And a lot of these are auctions and that I believe they will go much higher than what I actually have listed. So if I start an auction at $15, I only put $15 on there. So you have $3,071. So with 118 items, I only paid $2.50 per item. Now that's a listed item. Obviously I did a, lot, a whole bunch of things up. So it's actually a little bit less than that, but we'll say 250 per listing. And then here we go, 20% of that because, you know, with fees and me sending 5% offers and everything, it leaves me with $2,456 minus the initial of $300 for the initial buy-in. That leaves me a profit of $2,156, which really isn't that bad. And right now it looks like I got about 50 hours working in on this, which comes to $43 per hour. So you probably think, well, you know, how long does this take to sell? Is it gonna take you three years to sell to get that much money? I'll show you real quick how many has already sold and for how much money. So right here, this is all the stuff that has already sold. A lot of this was like the handy cam. That one right there is the Mack truck slide lot. Some really good things have sold. And the total sales right now is gonna be $989. Now that is not without the, you know, you gotta take out the, the fees and everything. But I'm well into the probably you know, two, two and a half times my money already. It's only been about, you know, what, a week and a half to two weeks. So right there, that's my auction haul with the attic. I, I said I was gonna go ahead and update you guys. Hopefully you liked this video. It did take me a while to actually do because I had to remember to actually record. But I do have one more thing that I have not listed. This is like Mack truck schematics from, you know, when they were doing their diesel testing and some more Mack truck stuff. But this right here, is where I'm really gonna be doing some research. This, like I showed before, are like drawings and blueprints to Mack truck fire trucks. And I think I have a guy online that might buy these and I have a whole bunch of them. They're all different. They're all from the 70s. And I think they're gonna go for, I mean, the slide pictures went for a grand total of $508. I'm thinking this, it's probably going to go for about the same amount of money. So that's not too terribly bad. But I do appreciate everybody that watches. Thank you so much. Remember, if you're not subscribed, always remember to subscribe. Comment down below. Like the video. And I will catch you on the next one.